Hello and welcome back to another video demonstration by thepilotreport.com. I'm Len Costa. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the fuel timer application for the iPhone. Now this iPhone application, it will work on your iPad, but it's not a universal application. What that means is that it's not going to utilize the full iPad screen real estate in high definition glory. So for today's example, I'm going to be showing you how to use this app here on my iPhone instead. First thing we do, of course, is click on the application called uh, Flight Timer. You get this, um, you get this, this uh, disclaimer at first. You know, this is a timer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Basically, it's telling you garbage in, garbage out. If you put the wrong information in, it's going to give you the wrong information in the output. So, um, you know, always, always, always be careful of what you put in here, and um, you know, use this as just for a reference. It's not, the, it's not the holy grail of calculating your fuel but it is a good reference and a good calculator. So I agree, of course, and we're going to go ahead and um, let's see, we want to start here on the main page. The very first thing I want to do is set up the application by clicking in the lower right hand corner on this I. What that's going to allow me to do is set up my specific aircraft configuration. So I'm going to go through these screens with you and we'll go ahead and configure the uh, the aircraft here. So. I'm going to be flying in today's example a Piper 6X. So from the time that it takes from engine start to taxi to run up, we average about two gallons. You know, we're going to burn about two gallons of gas during that time. So I'm going to hit the next button in the top right and continue on. My climb setup here, this is how much fuel you burn during the climb phase. The uh, Piper 6X here, we're using 20 gallons an hour. In cruise flight, it uses 17 gallons an hour, so we've set that up here. Uh, the other thing here is you can set up how much usable fuel is in each tank so that the uh, application knows when you hit the top off button, which I'll show you here momentarily, you know, how much is how much is topped off and, uh, and et cetera. You can switch between gallons and liters. Of course, we're using gallons here. As a quick example to actually change this, you'll click on the blue arrow to the right. Uh, you can give it a new name or new abbreviation. You can change it to 59. If you do, you hit close. Oops, it went all the way back. Let's advance back through these real fast. Um, okay, so we're back to the fuel tank selection. So we've, you know, we're just going to use the 54 gallons left and right that I've, pre you know, I've set up previously. We'll click the next button. And we can set up here some warnings, which is pretty cool. The warnings are, you know, based on whatever you want. I have one up to tell me that uh, I'm going to get a warning when I have 90 minutes of fuel on board remaining. Also have it set up not just for minutes, but for time. Uh, excuse me, not for, t um, for time, but also for gallons. When I reach uh, 34 gallons, I want an alert. Also, I've set up a 10-gallon uh, uh, 10 low fuel alert. I want it to tell me to switch tanks every 30 minutes at, at, you know, from engine start. And that, so you can set up an initial. So say, for instance, you know, your taxi take off and run up. You don't want, uh, let's go ahead and set this to 45 minutes because we're on the ground for about 15 minutes. Um, let's just keep going back. Uh, let's return to this last page. So f um, in this example, oh, I know why I'm hitting the wrong button. I've changed this to 45. We'll hit save. And then we'll go ahead and go back to warnings. So what this means is, you know, the initial switch tank warning from engine start will be 45 minutes, taking into account the 15 minutes of taxi run up on the uh, run up ground uh, time on the ground, plus then your 30 minutes of fuel burn in the air. I always change my tanks every 30 minutes. That's where I'm getting 30 and 15 equaling 45. After that, the last option is if you want a recurring flight timer to tell you again after every 30 minute period to switch those tanks, which I like. Now, of course, all of these are configurable. Again, if you wish to change, uh, you know, change it to giving me a, a warning at 45 minutes, which is, you know, uh, um, night VFR or day IFR, night VFR versus day IFR, a 45 minute fuel reserve, you can go ahead and do that. Personally, I always like to use double. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back to 90 minutes. Now that we've reached this, actually, the next step is um, there's nothing there. So we're just going to go ahead and hit the close button. Now what you'll notice here is uh, it's got a very, very simple function here. Engine off, taxi, climb, and cruise. And what this does, actually, we need to set the fuel here first. So on the bottom left, let's go ahead and click on the fuel tank. Now I'm going to say that um, because of the passengers I have today, 
I'm going to be taking 45 pound, uh, 45 gallons left, 45 gallons right. Again, when I talked about the top off button earlier, if I hit top off, you'll see that it shoots up to 54. 54 is what we set in the setup phase. If I had something else, it would revert to something else, but 54 is my top off number. But again, for this demonstration, we'll say um, I'm taking 45 in the left, 45 in the right, so that I can get my full payload on there. We hit the done button. Uh, again, now going back to the, the very easy options here is you want to select a fuel tank. So it shows us here. Actually, why is this? Oh, that's why. They are two different. Okay. So 45 and 45. Now we hit the done button. And now they're both adjusted. So this beginning screen shows a left tank. It shows a right tank. Now what you do is uh, you just press and hold on the tank that you want to run out of. So if I'm running out of the right tank, I press and hold the letter R for one second or until it turns green. Here's what you do next. You just started the engine. You press the taxi button at the bottom. What this is telling you is based on two gallons per hour of fuel burn that the right tank has 22 hours and 20 29 minutes of fuel remaining. For a total on board between left and right of 44 hours and 59 minutes. Well, like 44 hours sounds like a lot of fuel in an airplane, but don't forget, this is based on your taxi burn of two gallons an hour. Once we actually take off, we just simply press the climb button, okay? You notice the propeller spit starts to spin and pick up, and it tells me in my right-hand tank, I have two hours and 14 minutes based on 20 gallons per hour for the remaining fuel in that tank. Now, you know, 30 minutes goes by, I need to switch tanks. In order to switch tanks quickly, since we're burning on the right-hand tank, I want to press and hold the letter R for one second. You'll notice that the letter L, or the left-hand tank, is now illuminated. What that means here is that the tank is running, you know, the calculator is running off of your left tank. Of course, in the aircraft, you switched over to the left tank. And you burn and burn and burn until you get to where you're going. In cruise flight, you'll, you'll notice again, now that based on 17 gallons an hour, I have two hours and 38 minutes worth of fuel at 17 gallons an hour, total on board the aircraft, five hours and 16 minutes. Again, I'm going to go ahead and switch the tanks 30 minutes in. I'll press and hold the letter L, and you'll notice that the right-hand tank then switches, and all the calculations will be based off of the right-hand tank. So this is a really cool, I mean, it's, it's so simple. You just input the information. And then you press the left tank or the right tank, and then whatever phase of flights you're in, whether engine off, taxi climb, or cruise, and you'll know, um, you know, a rough estimate. You'll notice on the tank there's an actual red line, and that's based on the fuel minimums that we set up. And you remember, when I put in there, I had set up um, 34 gallons was when I wanted to receive an alert. So that number, is you have to divide, because that's, that's based on both tanks. So if you divide 34 gallons by 2, that's 17 gallons in the left tank. 17 gallons in the right tank. That line, that red line, is actually 17 gallons. Okay, so when you add them together, that's when you get your total. Now, this, and, and again, that's it. This is how this application works. It's super cool. I, I dig it, actually. You know, it's so simple. Just input the information. The only one downfall is that it doesn't save your aircraft, meaning today I flew the Piper 6X. You saw me scroll through and set up the gallons per hour for taxi, takeoff, uh, taxi, climb, and cruise, and the other configurations. If I go out and I fly 172 tomorrow, I have to go through the application and reset all those numbers based on the 172. So with the exception of, of that inconvenience, that it doesn't have stored aircraft profiles, other than that, I really dig this app. It's super easy to use. You, you know, after you've set it up, it's just a couple of clicks, and it, there's no confusion as to what you're doing. As always, you know, these iPhone and iPad applications for flight should be uh, should be used just as a backup, a reference. Never, you know, you're never going to use them as the holy grail. God send this is the last information that is accurate. Always be monitoring your fuel in the aircraft, but we can use these, you know, these tools at our disposal, uh, you know, as a reference. So. This application you can download at thepilotreport.com forward slash fuel timer. If you've enjoyed this video demonstration, please visit the website thepilotreport.com where we have other videos, uh, video demonstrations of ab aviation applications and software. Again, I'm Len Costa wishing you guys clear skies and calm winds. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you appreciated this, uh, this demonstration.